the No Bay Bugle Indians have several um, major health issues that they deal with. The um, overarching umbrella is, is poverty, but how that plays out in their particular life is they have lots of natural resources. They can go fish, they can grow things, um, but the core issue is they don't have clean water. And so when uh, they go to drink water, they're getting water out of a surface well, so a little dirty hole in the ground where animals might drink from. And, and um, people and animals uh, go to the bathroom anywhere, and uh, everything leaches into that water. And that water is contaminated with bacteria and uh, parasites. And so when you walk around, you'll see little kids, and they'll have a big belly. And in America, we would think that they're overweight, and that they just go to McDonald's too much. But in Panama, it's because their bellies are full of worms. And so the nutrition, the little nutrition that they get goes to feed this colony of worms in their belly. And so the malnutrition just sets them up, sets their babies up to die at a very young age. You'll meet a mom and you'll see a baby that may be one and you'll ask them their name. And they'll say, there is no, no name. And you say, well, how come? You know, why, why not? And uh, they just say, well, you know, they, a lot of them don't make it. And so they wait until they're two, until they are sure they're going to survive, and they make, they give them a name. Baby after baby after baby in that area dies because they don't have the, a small amount of money to be taken to the excellent resources that Panama has. The medical work of David's well has been accomplished in a number of ways. One is that every two weeks, volunteer doctors go out, uh, volunteer doctors who are Panamanian, nurses. Uh, they treat about 12,000 people every year. Another portion of that is through doctors and nurses coming down from the United States and conducting trips and spending a week going out into the very rural areas and treating the people. We take in uh, crates of medicine. We have about 50 pound boxes and we fill them with primarily warm medicine and vitamins and then we also have um, some pain medicine, some Tylenol and ibuprofen and uh, an assortment of antibiotics and so our strategy is mainly to treat their worms. That's my main goal from a medical standpoint. I want to treat worms and as many people as I can because that will have a lasting impact that will be will be able to kill all the worms that they have and will allow their nutrition to help them. We um, also are relieving their suffering. They have lots of pain, so the, the adults will say, my knees hurt really bad, my back hurts bad from the work that, that they do. And so we're giving them a cup of cold water, basically. And the real value in that is not in the short-term impact of the medicine, but it's in the relationship building with Pastor Juan. Pastor Juan's able to come in and spend time with the villagers and develop relationships and friendships because it's a critical need they have in healthcare. And so our desire, of course, is to do something longer term to have a larger impact on their health care. And that's played out through the local medical clinics that have been built, the five medical clinics out there. And there are uh, staff that are there for 21 days out of the month and they can help give vaccinations, they can help deliver babies and they can be a front line to be able to determine well do they need to go to the hospital and, and uh, occasionally uh, special circumstances arise and Juan is able to get people to the hospital and get them the special care. We're giving them medication freely with the trust that Juan is such an amazing evangelist that he will leverage those relationships to be able to spread the gospel.